Um, I opened the show mentioning Margaret Court's battle with Tennis Australia, who have today revealed that they will meet with the tennis legend this weekend, but the game's governing body plans to only recognise Court's achievements rather than celebrate them, as they did with Rod Laver's Jack. To me, this is just appalling. Uh, what her opinions are, whatever they are, does not detract from her greatness as, as a sporting legend. She is arguably the greatest female tennis player of all time, certainly one of our greatest female athletes uh, in, in all sports, and yet her achievements are being downplayed because she has some un-PC opinions, because she's a devout, religiously inclined person who doesn't believe in gay marriage, amongst other things. Now, what, what a strange way to view history and, and uh, the historic achievements of some of our great athletes. It's, it's also equally strange to me that we have to hold athletes who are, look, they're, they're excellent in their own fields, but they're not necessarily philosophers. They're not necessarily legislators or policy writers. So what we're going to go across, and if we don't like the opinions of our athletes of old, we're going to ignore their, their, their contributions to the sport. It's completely intellectually dishonest and it's... It's borderline discriminatory, I would argue, as well, because the, the, the basis of her beliefs are from, you know, a religious understanding um, of the text. You may disagree with that. A lot of, a lot of Christians do, but this is her belief, uh, this is her understanding, and this is what she actually practices as a Christian. So it, there is an actual case that it's a discriminatory line to actually take. Well, absolutely, Tina. We have sports people making all sorts of uh, arguably divisive comments, but if they're from the left... There are no negative consequences. Pat Cash, for example, came out, I think it was just last year, and you know, spoke out very strongly against Australia Day. Now, polls show that the overwhelming majority of Australians, even a bigger majority that support same-sex marriage, are in favour of Australia Day and in favour of it remaining on the current date. In fact, only 6% feel negatively towards it. So you could argue Pat Cash's comments were far more divisive and fringe than Margaret Courts, and yet, of course, there's no backlash, and there shouldn't be against him. But if, if you state a conservative opinion, they come for you and they want to smash you. This is disgraceful, uh, Rita. If it was a woman from, from the left who had the achievement that uh, Mrs. Court has, imagine there'd be celebrations every day of the week leading <laughs> up to uh, that actual date. So I'm disgusted on this. I mean, Forget about whether you uh, believe or, or uh, agree with her beliefs or not. She's a strong warrior that doesn't vary from those beliefs and good on her for standing up. You know, as I said, whether you agree with them or not, we should recognise the strength and power of this woman. I mean, people scream out all the time, women, 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 honour them, you know, recognise their achievements. I think this is disgraceful. We should head, uh, hang our heads in shame over this, Rita. Absolutely, and the feminists, Tina, have been very silent, both the male and female feminists, because you would argue this is a straight case of sexual uh, yeah. discrimination. You've got two absolute legends of the sport, Rod Laver and Margaret Court, both yeah. celebrating their 50-year anniversaries of their Grand Slam year. Yeah. Uh, Rod Laver's uh, year was uh, celebrated widely, and yet yes. Margaret Court's is going to just be acknowledged, not celebrated. So that's... Uh, a, 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 nobody to this day has equaled her record. Uh, Serena no. Williams possibly will, but she still is the record holder, holder for the most uh, sl Grand Slam tournaments. And I think Rod Laver has also previously expressed his disgust in the treatment of Margaret Court. I mean, it, it really is terrible. And we, as Australians, as a mass, should do something, something about it. I'm sure the Prime Absolutely. Minister will back Mrs Court all the way to have the recognition she rightly deserves. Well, you would hope so, but I mean, Tennis Australia are showing absolute weakness here. They are just terrified of being accused of uh, tolerating or even endorsing Margaret Court's views. So they are running scared, and it's quite pathetic, to be honest.